to whiskey.com where fine spirit meets meat. And good news! Um, the retaliation tax against the Trump aluminium and steel tax um, is finally gone. So no more taxes on um, imported whiskies from America. No additional taxes. We still do have the normal taxes. But um, yeah. There is a huge influx of smaller distilleries coming from the United States that yeah, opened over the last two years and they were just not, didn't want to export to Germany as the prices were yeah, opposed with the tax. And now they're all doing it. They're not really prepared for that. They have a kind of a, a makeshift legal information stick on it and the size for the bottle you have to label differently in Germany as well. Even though they're both milliliters and yeah, it's ridiculous, but um, they have the legal information on there. And yeah, now we get an influx of a lot of yeah, new smaller distilleries. And with that, we get the first I'm going to try is the Davies County Chabagne Sauvignon finish. 48%, 96 proof. And in Germany, it's around uh, yeah, 60 euros, which is well, quite a price. For such, um, I think it is a young uh, whiskey because it's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey finished in Chabonnet Sauvignon casks. Um, the straight means uh, it has to be at least two years old and it has to be from one distillery. It, it's not allowed to be a mixture of different distilleries. So um, the Lux Row distillers opened the distillery in 2018. So maybe it's from that distillery. I think they did different distilleries before that, but I'm not quite sure. Unfortunately, yeah, as it has been opened in 2018, I've never been to Lux Road Distillers. I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, I just get the information from the internet and from, from the bottle. So what we do know is they write on the bottle, a unique combination of two bourbon mash bills, a smooth wheated in a traditional ride for a balanced sweet and sweetness and spice. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, it says made in Kentucky. Yeah, if it's Kentucky straight bourbon, then it's made in Kentucky. You're not allowed to do anything else. And yeah, the distillery um, that they are referring to is from 1874, but it's not. I don't think it's the same distillery. But prove me wrong. Um, Daviness County is yeah where where it all belonged to. And yeah, six month finishing period in Chabernet Sauvignon casks. And before that, they were probably in uh, fresh American oak casks, as it is tradition for the Kentucky straight bourbon. They have to do uh, two years in um, fresh oak containers. It doesn't have to be American oak, but as American oak is cheaper than European oak, then they will probably be. <laughs> Mm. Very, very interesting. It's uh, a lot deeper, heavier and stronger than I expected. So the, the finish is very, very present. A lot of grapes. But there is a, if you have the right distance, if you go in full, then it's just strong. Oak, dark bitterness a little bit more grapes if you go further away then you find yourself within the Kentucky straight bourbon region where you have vanilla caramel and all the yeah Kentucky straight typical Kentucky straight bourbon taste and smell so yeah let's try it mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Whew. A lot different to a normal Kentucky straight bourbon. It's heavy. It's grapey. It has a lot of Amer uh, European influence with the Chabonnier Sauvignon finish. It does have a lot of sweetness, like the Kentucky straight bourbon. So you do feel a Kentucky straight bourbon core in there. That, that the stereotypical Kentucky straight bourbon that's light, sweet, caramel, popcorn, but there's a lot around it. So yeah, it's more spicy than the usual Kentucky straight bourbon with the 
with the ride you feel the ride definitely and um yeah in in the in the sides of my mouth it, it feels sweet and smooth so yeah weed maybe maybe that's sweet maybe not maybe you can't feel it with, with everything going on but it's uh it's a lot different to what we what we do know from all the other distilleries it's oh, it's crazy oh, i like it Mm. 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 Well, mm. you do feel a bit of youth in it i think they will develop it over the next years to make it yeah a really a superior whiskey and um from what i've read and from what i've shown you during uh, during our weekly whiskey.com news the looks road distillers they invested quite a lot they they did it on a quite professional level so the distillery is here to stay so i'm really excited about what comes next this is a good one so yeah i like it it's uh it's there definitely worth trying don't expect to buy a stereotypical kentucky straight bourbon because it's not um but it's definitely worth something to try out it's i can't really compare and give you something like yeah you're getting some mixture of that that it's just too much variation going on in there it's just something else but nonetheless you should give it a try if you're interested in new things yeah that was it for my take with the daviness county chabagny sauvignon finish thank you very much for watching and see you next time